Back in 2016, BMW released a really interesting engine. It's a straight six quad turbo diesel. Yes, you heard me, four turbo diesel. And this engine was awesome. It made power, tons of torque, and its fuel consumption wasn't bad either. The B57 is one of the best all round motors ever made in my opinion. Now let me tell you why. So because it's a diesel, you know it has a ton of torque. We are talking 760 Nm of torque and all of that torque becomes available at 2000 rpm. And that torque stays there all the way to 4000 rpm before it starts to taper off. Luckily that's where the horsepower takes over. The peak power of 400 horsepower is heat between 4 and 5000 rpm. In other words, you have a car that has power straight through the rev range. I mean, it makes 450 newton meters of torque at a thousand revs. That's more torque than most hot hatches at barely any revs. This engine could be found in all the 50D BMWs between 2016 and 2020. Now, let's take a look at the 550D and look at some of the specs, just to give you an idea of the performance this thing delivers. Now, remember, this is a diesel four-door family sedan. It's big. I mean, it weighs 1.9 tons, but even so, this engine propels this big hill from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.2 seconds, and she does a 12.6 second quarter mile. Now the reason this is so great is because it can deliver these numbers all day, every day. But it's also economical. I mean, this big hill will give you 5.9 liters per 100 km, granted, that's if you drive nicely. Not many cars can deliver that performance when you need it and then when you want to cruise and just stick it and drive, you will have a really luxurious economical family car. But this engine has more untapped potential too. With just a simple stage 1 tune, you can raise the power to 470 horsepower and 850 Nm of torque to the crank, just with a tune, no mods. Now if this engine is so great, why did BMW cancel it last year? The B57 was released in 2016, right after the dieselgate emissions scandal blew up, which changed the public's and regulators' perception of diesels. A diesel was no longer a fuel-saving option that could help a company's fuel efficiency stats. It was now a problem child, after stricter emission laws were put in place. But this isn't where the problems stop. Building a quad-turbo engine is expensive, as I'm sure you can imagine. Now think back in 2020, what happened? in that horror of a year. Let me think. Hmm. Oh yes, a global pandemic, he does. This led to more people closing their wallets and opting for cheaper alternatives. In other words, it just wasn't worth it for BMW to keep on manufacturing this expensive engine, which is sad. Let's take a moment of silence for our fallen brother, the B57. Now, I know that BMW is working on electric cars that will make much more power and torque and the cars will be even faster than they are now, but there is just something awesome about saying you're driving a quad turbo straight 6. And, and I just feel like combustion engines have more character. Electric engines, all the power is always there, where with a combustion engine you have to learn the engine, learn the power band, it's just, it's different. Each engine is different, the power comes in at a different place, they ref to different zones, they've got turbo lag, or they don't, or they've got a specific sound, it's just, each car is different, where electric car is just silent and it goes, I mean, it's a bit boring. But what do you think? Do you agree that it's sad that the engine is being axed off? Or are you more excited for the future and all the electric power talk it will hold? Let me know in the comments below. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I've got many more videos that are similar to this. Go through it. Maybe there's something you like. Um, I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?